Roblox is a fun and popular game, but did you know that you can take your avatar and turn it into a 3D print? I'll show you how to do it on today's Film Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Roblox is a fun and popular game you play on your phone. You can make your own avatar. You can change the legs, the arms, the head. This is what I came up with. I made Pizza Man with hair and shoes and I had a lot of fun. And then you can go into these virtual worlds and run around on a beach, jump on rocks. There's all kinds of things you can do. But what if you want to turn that avatar into a 3D print? You can do it with Roblox Studio. This is software for your Mac or PC for creating these worlds that you can run around in. Well, if you go to the base plate and go up to test and then click play, your avatar will appear on that base plate. And then if you go up to the menu on the side where it says workspace, go down to the name of your avatar. Mine's called L Products, dumb name. But if you right click, you can export selection. And what this does is export a .obj. You just tell it where you want to put it. I'm going to put it into downloads on my computer and just give it a name. Roblox Avatar 3D. And then it'll be in your computer as a .obj that you can bring into a slicer. I'm going to use Cure 4.8. It will accept .obj files. Just go to that file that was in downloads and there it is, the .obj file. When you import it, it comes in very, very small. So you have to increase the size. So I'll zoom in here and select it. Then I'll go over to the resize tool. I'm going to set it to a thousand percent, thousand percent bigger than what it is. And it should do that in X, Y, and Z. And there it is much bigger. So now I need to rotate it. I'll click on it, select the rotation tool and then select face to align the build plate. Click on the bottom of its foot and it stands up. Now I need to turn it 180 degrees so I can see its face. And it looks really good. This is a lot like the avatar. So now let's slice it. I'm just going to use a 0.28, 15% infill, and I am going to use supports to support the arms and, and some of the body. So you check generate support, just normal supports, but touching the build plate, 70 degree uh, selection angle. It says one hour and 16 minutes. This guy's about two inches tall and it slices it. Here's the supports. And I did do a raft. It's on the build plate adhesion. I did enable a raft that's better for the supports to build from. And it'll build up from here in 3D on my 3D printer. Now I'm going to use my Ender 3 V2 and here's the result. It actually looks really good. Now what I like about rafts is when you pull the raft off, it takes the supports with it. And unfortunately when I did this, I broke the fingers on the left hand. But other than that, this print looks really good. So it's just got one finger there. But the hair has got some sagging because there was no support for the hair. So I wanted to see if maybe I could do this a little better. Maybe use tree supports, which should wrap around this guy and support the hair. But other than that, this print looks pretty good. And this is 0.28 layer height. That should be a lot rougher. So now I'm going to go to the supports and select tree. And the settings change a little bit, but I'm going to go with the defaults. And here's tree support. You can see how it wraps around the body and also goes all the way up to the hair and supports the hair. So it's going to build all the way around it, almost like a, a snake wrapping around the 3D print. I don't like the way it's supporting the hands and I was right because the hands just did not come out. This blob on the left or on the right is the left hand. So I stopped the print. I said, that's not working. So let's try something else. And then I had an idea. What if I turn this guy upside down? So I went to the rotation tool. I turned him 180 degrees. Now I got to flatten his head a little bit, but a lot of these avatars have no hair. So this isn't a big deal on some avatars, but I'm going to flatten the head just a little bit. You can see here where it's sticking. The, the light gray is where it's not going to print. In fact, I went too far. Let me lift it up a little bit. So I'm going to have a little bit of a flat head on mine, but I really shouldn't need any supports other than possibly the shoulders. So I'm going to shut off support. Again, use a raft and it'll build from the head up just like this. So it'll build up from the raft, through the head, into the shoulders, into the hands, and then finally the feet. Now this one looks the best so far because the hair is good, but the shoulders got a lot of stuff on the shoulders. So a lot of sagging. So that's where it's bad. And I do have a flat spot on the head, but I don't really notice it as much. But the hands and the arms and all that look great. So other than these shoulders, I think this is a good way to go. So now let's try something else. Let's try supports, but for the shoulders. 
So now I'm going to enable supports and I'm just going to use standard supports from touching the build plate, just like I did on the first one. Now you notice it actually supports the feet. I did get a little sagging on the feet, which I didn't notice until I saw this. So let's print this. It's hour and 13 minutes. Shouldn't take a whole lot longer than any of the other prints. And this may be the best one, hopefully. Here's a time lapse of it printing and it actually printed really good. But now I need to break these off. And because it's away from the fingers, this should be an easy breakaway. So I'll just pull the raft off and it takes the supports with it, which I love this. And then the last little support just falls out of place. And this thing came out really good. This is the best one yet, except for the flathead. But the shoulders look good. The hair looks good. The hands look good. This is actually the best one yet. So if you have a Roblox avatar, maybe try this out and let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filling It Friday.